Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Jenny. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my summer beauty essentials and I am including a little bit of my makeup, body products that I love to use and wear during the summer and of course, my favorite SPF products for both face and body. So you don't wanna miss this video or others, make sure to subscribe before you leave. And without any further ado, let's just get right into the video. All right, so I'm gonna start off with one of the most important products that I think it's a must summer essential and actually all year round, but more than anything in the summer because we do tend to spend a lot more time outdoors and that is SPF. And I'm gonna show you my favorites face and body SPF starting with the face I actually have two favorite products which I have right here I'm gonna start with this one by Kula this is their full spectrum 360 degrees sun silk drops this not only protects you against sun exposure but also against digital exposure and if you're not familiar with digital exposure so nowadays we spend so much of our times in front of a screen it could be your phone screen your laptop screen tv your ipad especially at nighttime that digital light is actually also causing damage to our skin and this type of SPF also protects against that digital exposure. It's so important that we also protect our skin against that exposure and not only the sunlight. And because these are very fine drops, it literally sinks into your skin super fast and it works beautiful right under makeup. The second facial SPF that I like to use is this one by Tatcha and this is their Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen SPF of 35. And this one is also a multitasking product because you can also use it as a face primer to wear right before makeup because it is pore minimizing. So it's gonna help to smooth out any texture on your face. And although this formula is a little bit white, let me actually show you a little bit of the product. So when it comes out, out of the tube, it is white, but it actually blends in into your skin super fast. It's super soft and it feels really light. So to me, this is a two-in-one product. So when I use this, I don't use an additional face primer. So those two products are my favorite SPF products to use on my face. And of course, I wanna remind you that applying SPF one time alone, it's not gonna keep you protected from the sun throughout the whole day. You obviously have to reapply it some sort of SPF. So for those times where I am wearing a full face of makeup and I have to reapply SPF, I like to use this setting powder that actually has SPF from Supergoop. This is their invisible setting powder and it's 100% mineral and it is also sweat resistant. And let me tell you guys, this product works. I use it pretty much all last summer and it really helps to just refresh your SPF protection. And what I like about this product is that most of the times when I used it, I was exploring or I was on vacation or if you're gonna be outdoors, I have a combination skin type. So even though I'm dry around my face i do get oily on my t-zone so this product also helped me to control my oils the only thing that i have to say about this product is that it is a little bit messy so it comes with this little brush right here that basically the powder is down here so you have to shake it down a little bit just like that and then i don't know if the camera cut it but some of the powder comes out and that's what you apply on your face. But it is completely translucent so it doesn't show white on your skin. All right, so now that we are done with the face SPF, let's move on to the body SPF because that's also very important. And I have two products right here, also by Kula. Kula, just sponsor me already. The first one is the Kula Spore SPF 50 Classic Sunscreen, and this is in the Fresh Mango Scent. This is actually like a body cream, a moisturizer type of product, and I love the smell of this. It literally smells like mangoes. If you don't like mangoes, then you're not gonna like this. I know that they have other scents, but this is just the one that I prefer. I love using this one because if you want a cream type of moisturizer, so it is a little bit white, but let me just show you how it blends into the skin. Super nice. 
you can barely see it. It does give you a little bit of a sheen, but it absorbs really quickly. But when I am gonna get it in the water, if I'm gonna be at the pool or I'm gonna go to the beach, then I prefer to use this one. And this is also by Kula. This is their SPF 50 Guava Mango Sunscreen Spray. 70% of the ingredients are organic and it is also plant-based, water resistant up to 80 minutes. And actually the other one I just mentioned, it is also water resistant up to 80 minutes. You can use this one or this one. I prefer to use this spray whenever I am gonna get myself in the water or wet, just because it's easier to just spray and reapply and you're done. Okay, so now that we're done with the body and face SPS, well, almost done. Now I wanna move on to body oils, body glue, Lows, body highlighters type of products and I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite ones but I'm gonna start off with this one because this is actually a body glow oil but it also has SPF and this is by Sol de Janeiro this is their new bum and bum soul oil SPF of 30 and like I said this is a body glow oil so when you look at the bottle you will see some of the glitter floating in it and it's actually a body oil. I'm gonna spray some of the product on the back of my hand just so that you can see it. I know it looks like a lot right now, but it does go down once you start rubbing in into the skin and it actually gets absorbed. But this is a body glow. It's not gonna be as intense as the body lava. I'll show you right now, but this is gonna give your skin such a beautiful glow. I love how it looks on my skin. It gives you such a beautiful glow. It's actually non-sticky and once you let it dry, you barely even feel it. It doesn't transfer on your clothes. I do think that the SPF is a little bit low. It's only 30. So if you're someone who has sensitive skin or just tend to burn fast, I wouldn't use this one alone. I actually plan to combine this one with maybe this Kula spray just in case because I don't want to risk it but I do like the fact that it is a body glow oil that has SPF so it is going to give you a little bit of sun protection. Alright so the next body luminizer body glow product I just have to mention it to you and this is the one by Fenty Beauty their body lava. I have it in the shade who needs clothes which is actually the lightest one and I love this body luminizer product. I used this a lot last summer and I still have a full bottle. This thing just lasts forever, but as you can see, it's such a beautiful color. Let me actually blend it out right here. It's very intense, so you don't need that much. That little pump will probably be enough for my entire chest area, but the only downside of this product is that it never really dries down completely and that's why some people don't like it because it can get a little bit sticky i personally don't mind it i think if you use too much of it then it's definitely going to be very sticky but if you use a light amount it gives you such a beautiful glow recently actually i discovered a new product that i think i think i like it better than the body lava and actually let me explain why so this is by sol de janeiro as well this is what the product is this is their glow motions glow oil and it is in the shade copacabana it's like one of the medium shades and i love this body glow oil that's actually what i'm wearing right now on my chest and you can see how it gives you such a beautiful glow and sheen to the skin the formula it's a little bit thinner and nicer than the body lava one so let me actually compare it i'm gonna put a little bit right next to the body lava and this is obviously darker than the one that i have by fenty beauty but let me just blend it out next to the body lava so it is a little bit darker, but for once you blend it out, it looks beautiful on the skin. So you will see that it's two different formulas. This one by Sol de Janeiro is super thin. It does feel like a oil and it gets absorbed really quickly actually. So this one, it's not sticky at all. But what I really wanna show you is that the body lava is just a lot more intense. So if you want your body to really glow and the 
everybody notices your glow, then the body lava is a better option for you. But if you want a more subtle glow, then I think the Sol de Janeiro is a little bit better. I like the formula and the Sol de Janeiro better just because it's thinner. You don't even feel it on your skin. And if you touch it, it's not sticky at all. It doesn't transfer. The Fenty Beauty Body Lava does transfer a little bit. They have other shades. I believe they have like five different shades, but this is just the one that I prefer for my skin tone. So check them out. Okay, so now moving on to the makeup essentials for the summer. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really do heavy, heavy makeup on a daily basis during the summer just because if you're gonna be out and about, obviously you're gonna get sweaty and it's just harder to maintain. I obviously still wear full face of makeup for a special events or going out, but I'm just talking about maybe on a daily, like if you're just gonna be, you know, out running errands or with friends, or if you're gonna be at the pool per se, my main, main product has to be concealer and it has to be a light formula because I don't want it to be anything heavy at all. And the first one I'm gonna show to you is actually this one by Becca. It looks like this and this is their aqua luminous perfecting concealer and i use the shade medium this is one of the most lightest formulas i've ever used and it does the job at covering my dark circles evening out my skin complexion especially around my eyes the next one it's no surprise because i have been talking about this concealer quite often and this is by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is their Magic Star Concealer and I've just grown to really, really enjoy and love this concealer because like I said in the past, it's not a full coverage concealer, but the formula, it's so lightweight and it's just really nice, you guys. So I really, really enjoy using this one. And lastly, from the drugstore, I haven't talked about this bad boy in a while, but it's also a favorite of mine. This is the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Concealer and I wear the shade Medium Olive. I love this one as well. It is a little bit thicker than the other two, but if you're looking for a concealer on the drugstore, I really recommend this one. Now, another must for me, especially during the summer, it has to be a good waterproof mascara because you're gonna be around the water a lot and you might be sweating outdoors and there's nothing worse than having your mascara smearing or you know getting transferring on your face. So I really like using the one by Too Faced, the better than sex mascara, the waterproof. That's why the tube is this color. If you want your mascara to last and to not smear, Waterproof is the way to go, especially during the summer. The last makeup essential that I have to mention to you, just because these are the type of products that I tend to wear and use the most during this time of the year, it has to be lip gloss. If I'm gonna be by the pool or if I'm gonna go to the beach or just exploring and just being out and living my best life, I don't wanna to have to worry about redoing my lips, so I think the best way is just using a lip gloss, and these are my three favorite ones. I have them right here, and let me just briefly show you each one of them. The first one, there's no surprise, is the Gloss Balm by Fenty Beauty. I love this lip gloss. I recommend it to all of my friends, literally, because it is one of the best lip glosses out there. But I do have other two that I really love, and this one is actually by M Cosmetics. This is one of their True Gloss in the color Secret Blush. Let me just swatch it because it's actually very pigmented for a gloss, so it's not sheer at all. I love this color. And the third one is actually by Dose of Colors, who I think it's so underrated. I've used it so much that the sticker even came off. But if I recall, this is in the shade on repeat. It's honestly so beautiful. And that's actually what I'm wearing today. So you can see how beautiful it looks on the lips. It makes my lips look so juicy, so plump. All right, we are almost done. I don't wanna make this video way too long, but you all know I love talking about my favorite type of products, so bear with me. So next is hair. Hair is so important for the summer because if you don't have time to be flat ironing your hair or doing your waves or whatever, 
I love using this wave spray by Way. That sounded pretty funny. But yeah, this is a wave spray. So basically, this is gonna make your hair look a little bit wavy and crunchy but it doesn't feel hard so in those days that I don't want to blow dry my hair that I just want to let it live naturally I apply this right after washing my hair and as you can see I've used a ton of this product I love it it's just gonna make your hair look pretty nice and it gives you a really nice wave just gonna be like a beachy soft wave I really like this product and actually I should have mentioned this one before because this is something so important I actually showed it to you guys in my last hair tutorial that I did and this is by Bumble and Bumble their hairdressers invisible oil and this is a hair primer all right but it actually has heat and UV protectant so what that means is that even your hair is gonna be protected from the sun exposure and this also has heat protectant so if you're gonna be styling your hair this is also gonna provide heat protection as well so I think it's one of those multi-purpose type of products I don't know about you but I get sweaty in the summertime okay and my scalp sweats more often than usual so I still get lazy about washing my hair and I am not gonna wash it every day. Obviously, if I get in the pool or if I go to the beach, it's a different story, but on a daily basis that maybe it's just hotter outside, you know what I mean? I tend to use a lot more dry shampoo than usual and these are two of my favorite dry shampoos and I have the smaller bottles because I do take this ones a lot when I travel and I even throw them in my purse just if I need to freshen up my hair and then I'm just out and about, I just pull it out and I apply some dry shampoo and my hair is refreshed. Now let's move on to the body care. Especially, especially in the summer, it's so important that you exfoliate, especially those feet because a lot more feet is gonna be exposed. You're gonna be wearing sandals more often and nobody wants to see ashy feet. The sugar scrub that I like to use is this one by Tree Hut. I get it from Ulta. It's actually super affordable. You have to remove that dry cell and that dry surface of the skin so the new skin can be shown and your skin is gonna look a lot more healthy. I believe in that and going back to the feet so I actually use these little sponges and I get them off Amazon I'm gonna make sure to link it down below they come in a set of three and it actually has two levels of the scrubbing intensity I don't know one of them this is the softer side and this is the more aggressive side and I exfoliate my feet with these sponges so I basically what I do is that I grab a little bit of the body scrub I apply it onto this little sponge and I just scrub away all of the dry surface from my feet around my toes anywhere where I have dry skin so this is a must for me I think it's just the easier way to do it and yes just exfoliate your feet and those are all of my summer beauty essentials I know it was quite a lot of products but believe me these products work, that's what I use, and that's what helps me to have a happy summer and make sure that my skin is glowy, that I am protected from the sun, that my makeup is on point, and that more than anything, I enjoy my summer. So I hope that you found this video helpful, and let me know if you have any of these products in your routine, or if you wanna try any of these products, or have tried any of these products, I wanna know. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done that already and turn on your post notifications so that YouTube tells you whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.